Um, what I was saying before everything fell apart is why did you decide to, you know, you, you can always have this guy who seems like they're annoying the project and everyone sort of sees them as this, like, they freak out every time that he posts a video. But why did you actually decide to basically go to war with Baby Wogue? Okay, so there is two reasons. The first one is that I don't think that you, you should have the platform to say things without any at actually taking any responsibility on what you just said. If you have uh, 20,000 subscribers and you say something that's completely untrue, you should have somebody on the other side, side saying, no, what you just said is untrue. And uh, I hope that uh, with some of the videos, I would be able to call out on some uh, mistakes that he did on these videos, like yeah. when he complained about the inconsistency of using radio buttons and uh, checkboxes, oh, which that actually one. wasn't an inconsistency. That was by the, that was by design. So <laughs> yeah, that and, was uh, so course, bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I when I first saw the video, I thought, oh yeah, it's an inconsistency. But then I actually tried it. And it was not. It was by design. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's technically there's... inconsistent, but it's inconsistent because they don't do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like consistency is everything is the same thing that they were. Of course not. That would be harmful to the user. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, obviously the second reason is that with exams, I needed some very easy to do content that would do well. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Yeah, I know that feeling for sure. Like, I've had... Actually, what has been the reception you've had from this? Because, you know, some people will freak out. I don't know if it happens with a channel at your size, but as you get bigger, there are more and more people who want you to do things a certain way. And the second you diverge from that, they don't know what to do. Suddenly, everything's terrible. Well, uh, I've, I've received some comments uh, saying that uh, they disagreed with uh, doing these videos because they said that I shouldn't give any visibility to Baby Vogue and I'm like, is twice as bigger as I am. So I'm not sure I'm the one giving any visibility, yeah. quite the opposite. And um, But uh, I, I can just look at the numbers. Like uh, People are going to say, no, don't do this kind of videos. But then I actually see the statistics and they did super well. They got twice the uh, average view, view length of mm -hmm. usual videos. So it's not like, it's not people clicking on the videos and saying, oh no, it's boring, close it. Yeah. No, they're actually watching the whole video. So they are, there is interest in, there is interest in this. So as much as some comments might disagree, this is something that is interesting for my subscribers. Well, this goes back to the thing we were talking about before with users don't they're good at pointing out a problem but they're not necessarily good at pointing out the solution like if you're not someone who is making videos if you're not a developer you don't you can say that here like this is a problem this is something i don't like about it but you don't necessarily have that that knowledge to actually come up with what the solution should be then yeah, it, it has happened to um, just regarding my channel, people saying that I should post other kinds of uh, things uh, other than the Linux world. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a couple of uh, chess videos, a couple of poetry videos. Nobody watched them. Don't do that. <laughs> they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> oh, is he gone again? The, no? Oh, you... Yeah, the, that was a terrible approach. Okay, you're just frozen. I'm back. Can you see me? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I could hear you for a little bit, but your camera Nice. Plays. Okay. I actually see you nicely, so... It's great that, that my that internet's happened. not the bad one today. Let me actually... <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it, it's still frozen? No, you're good. You're good. It's... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was saying, too. <laughs> um, you were saying chess videos and pottery. Ah uh, yes, yes. They nobody watched them, and uh, it's very fair to. I, I tried, and uh, there was actually one video that kind of went well, which was uh, a chess match between a KD developer and a KD designer, because a designer uh, that, also played chess, and yeah. that was kind of fun to do. But I mean, that's clearly not the type of content that the, my subscribers want, so I didn't uh, follow up on that. I made a separate channel called yeah. Nikolov's Poetry. 
for that. Well, yeah, the reason why that one did well is because it still fits kind of into your niche. Like, you yeah. you are, like, I guess you could still cover things that are happening in general Linux, but you are very much mainly KDE. It's like, this is KDE yeah. news, this is some project that's using KDE and things like that. So the the chess one still had some, like, tangential relation to KDE because it's KDE dev versus KDE designer. So even though it's not yeah. your regular content, it's still in some way fits to the niche. And YouTube really, really emphasizes channels fitting into some sort of niche. Yeah. Now I'm slowly trying to back out a bit uh, from the KDE niche to a more general one about desktops and uh, hopefully then Linux. Yeah. Because also being... Uh, the kitty YouTuber, uh, as I've been described, his arm full within the kitty community because um, my channel is not a kitty channel, but it's so close to kitty activities that sometimes I get uh, rightful um, criticism for things like having advertisement. Like yep. kitty is against having advertisement in their videos. But even though I'm not part of KDE, I'm so close to it that one might rightfully assume that I am. Uh, my channel is part of KDE too. Mm. And something that I wanted to emphasize lately clearly is that it is not, and I would like to move away a bit and talk about desktops as a whole. And I actually wanted to uh, start a podcast in like three months or so about desktop uh, in general, uh, what's happening in KDE, Pla KDE Plasma, yeah. uh, GNOME, and so on. Uh, 